The next song we're going to learn has an arrangement that will help you work on your timing. One of the most important things on the banjo is to have good solid timing and to understand how notes connect. The song's Eliza Jane. The melody is this. And it's going to make a lot of use of these chickaboom patterns. There's some things, things to keep in mind when you, when you play these chickabooms, or when you play anything. We'll just use this as a, a, a vehicle to work on this. You need everything to connect up, and for things to connect up, all your fingers have to be ready before you play the note. One of the places people get the most stuck on the banjo is getting their thumb up to the fifth string. They end up leaving it down by the third string when other fingers play, and when it's time to play, they have to jump. The trick is to lift it up right away and then make sure the other fingers are also ready. Lift, and notice how I, I really connect those two notes. It happens right over the bar line too, as I mentioned before. As a variation to this, there's also um, a little ending pattern that follows a very similar thing. It'll end, end up in a measure like this. For instance, at the very end of the tune, it'll do that, and at the beginning of the tune, as a pickup to the beginning. chick -a boom right into the beginning. And if you play the tune several times in a row, you'll use this to connect. So the ending will also become the beginning, um, which is the whole idea of learning to get that timing to connect. So lifting that thumb up, making sure you're ready to play the next thing, and then, and then, and then making sure the next thing is also ready. So we're listening to that timing. We can even just try this with a short scale which has very similar uh, aspects as the, as the song. It gives you a way to practice just those connections while you're also moving your left hand. You, you realize your left hand also has to be completely ready to play the next note, or you'll be waiting exactly at the time it needs to connect the most. Here's the whole song. Notice the, notice the pickup at the beginning. Let's do a slow version. There you have it. Make sure you really practice the timing and the connection of those notes. Always try and connect up your your onto your next measure.